Hey, this is Flatlander Mike here again from Saskatchewan, Canada. Quite chilly today while well, it's minus 10 Celsius, but the wind is just a howling. So we must have a wind chill about minus 15 or 20 today. Um, anyway, day three of the tracks. Uh, just a follow up. Everything's working really good. I had to make a couple adjustments on the tracks, tension, and uh, everything it seems really well well working everything's great uh, just finished pulling in a, a ice shack off the lake uh, there's so much snow out there that the guys can't get out with their trucks to get their ice shacks now that was an old uh, trailer uh, camper trailer and uh, just hooked her up to my ball hitch and uh, pulled her in not a problem uh, four lock low range so anyway uh, the only problem I've had is the snow they kick up so much snow that it comes and covers the back window and my, the box was getting covered in snow and all my fishing gear was all covered so um, i thought well it may be a mud flap so what i did was i had a uh, old mud flap a rock rock solid rock guard off my old truck and i don't have the truck anymore so i took it off and uh, i uh, just uh, put some brackets on and I'll show you what they are and we'll go through what I did uh, they work really well they seem to be working excellent and, and cut it down to just about maybe not even a quarter of an inch in the back of the box today so and we've had uh, got another two inches of powder yesterday uh, of course it blew quite a bit there was a lot of wind so uh, anyway I'll show you uh, what I did Okay, so uh, here's a rock solid uh, tow guard that I put on. Uh, I had the bracket in the middle that goes on your hitch. Uh, I just took that off because my hitch is really low. So we're gonna go back around here. So what I did was I had some angle iron and I just put in, cut two pieces about three inches long actually three pieces there's one there one in the center it's kind of hard to see with all the snow and then one on this end so I just bolted it to my homemade bumper I made this from the same angle iron welded two pieces together made the brackets this was last year bolted through the angle iron and then bolted the bottom of the angle iron to the bumper and as you can see it sits up there pretty good away from the tracks so I haven't had a problem and uh, this is how much snow I got in there today not too bad might have to put a cover on it but we'll see what happens uh, it's uh, kind of annoying when you can't see out the back and all your stuff gets covered but uh, we'll just go around and everything is just hunky door here I'm probably gonna put it in and uh, adjust the tracks check the track adjustment after pulling that in uh, lots of took lots of power to bring it in so so this is Flatlander Mike signing out uh, my next video is probably going to be the winch install uh, I've already done it but uh, I got a few tips that I can show you and uh, hopefully when you do it or if you do it you won't have any problems uh, have a good day